Portland's culture can be captured in many ways, from the cuisine to the architecture, the people and the traditions, but for so many, it's the music that enriches the lives in the city. It's why we want to bring more of that sound to you and introduce you to the people, artists, and groups making waves in music. In his new series, Locally Tuned, Rob Krieger sits down with an uptown rapper who hopes to shed the stereotypes of the genre while finding a way to connect with people across the world thanks to his roots. I'm by the name of Alfred Banks. Alfred Banks can capture a crowd. His imaginative lyricism is catchy, delivered with a beat that's both yeah. familiar and novel. I don't even need practice. What I do is different. I do have content in the music, and I'm very proud of that. It's that pride that's fueled Banks to create a voice that's unique and authentic. And I'm born and bred in this bad boy, and I think it's just time for the other side of the coin to be talked about. He knows the flack rappers sometimes get, but while the streets have informed his craft, his music pushes past expectations. Dude, I'm proud of being that kind of alternative. Like I grew up uptown 12 Wall, like I was in the hood, but I, I wasn't a part of the, the madness. And so even when my, fam my immediate family members were and cousins and uncles and the whole thing, I kind of see it from a different view. I see it from, I was amongst it, but I just didn't participate. So I can kind of give you both kind of sides of it. Banks started rapping in 2009, taking a leap many attempt but don't often accomplish. However, he's found a springboard of success through the city and its musicians. This is like, it's like a talent incubator, right? And so what I've learned in the last two years is collaboration is everything. His collaborations have brought him on tour with Grammy nominated Tank of the Bangas. Oh, wow. To Germany for a Volkswagen commercial and across the continent. Yeah, I've toured from Los Angeles, California, all the way to New York City and everywhere in between. You know, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Chicago, Miami, Dallas, Phoenix, Arizona, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Literally, if you name a place, I've probably been there. Just last month, he was on top of the Rockies, invited to the X Games to perform with saxophonist Albert Allen back as part of his group, Sax Kicks Ass. I want to jam right now, Alfred Banks, and I'm glad to be brown. And last year, he finally found himself on stage at the fairgrounds for Jazz Fest with the Soul Rebels. Somebody not from the city, I'm taking the downtown. Love that I'm from the city, listen to my proud sound. That was a dream come true. I've never done it before. And they brought me out, man. I got to rock that big crowd. And I was like, yo, I, I did it. I am officially, even if after all the things I've done, I'm officially a rapper, an artist from New Orleans. That was a blessing. Now he's set to return to Jazz Fest this year with one of his biggest collaborations, Global Warming, a collective of artists, creatives, producers here in New Orleans, founded by fellow rappers Pell and Nate Cameron. Uh, they wanted to start a situation that kind of was, again, another incubator for talent for more of the, I want to say alternative kids, because I think in hip hop and urban music here, there's like a specific type of uh, energy that people assume when they think of rap, right? And so we're kind of like the anti that. Banks feels that's the sound the city needs right now, built on a tradition that isn't forgotten, just evolved. A lot of the old guard of New Orleans is being exposed to a new generation of MCs and singers and producers and DJs and artists who are doing something that they didn't even think was possible coming out of New Orleans. And we're being pretty damn successful while doing it. That reality's gonna bring you to your knees, but that's what happened when you overachieve. They call me out for Banks. Look it's why Banks is determined to continue creating and sharing an alternative. He hopes keeps New Orleans music overachieving. So it shows people that this city is such a cornucopia of music and music styles that you can do all kinds of things and all kinds of things come out of this gumbo pot, man. And, and, and I'm just blessed to, to be one of those uh, kind of alternative choices. Banks has an album coming out soon under his name, as well as a collaboration with Albert Allenback of Tank and the Bangas. You can find him on social media under Alfred Banks or Underdog Central. He's set to play the Getaway Music Fest in March at the Drifter and Jazz Fest with Global Warming in April.